part 3 is all about damage modifiers. Some people tend to give their mobs custom items with um, enchantments like fire protection level 4, 5 or whatever or giving it fire protection 20 in, a, in the attempt to make the mob almost immune to fire but there is a much easier way to do that and that is using damage modifiers. And um, this is highly customizable as you can see and all of these are again optional you don't have to have these in your mob file uh, let's say you only wanted to add uh, edit the damage modifier for projectile attacks then you can delete all the rest and just keep that in there now before adding values to this let me explain what these damage modifiers do. Some are self-explanatory, like the drowning, uh, which is when the mob is underwater, it will slowly drown and eventually die. Block explosion and entity explosion are different things. Entity explosion is um, from mobs like creepers exploding. Block explosion is from stuff like TNT exploding. Two different things. Never tried these, never needed them. Um, taking damage in the void, let me mark this up with that because you're probably very unlikely to need this. Um, like why would you want a mob that is immune to damage from falling out of the world? Lightning damage is also self-explanatory. You can make a mob immune to um, taking damage by lightning. Suicide and starvation I'm not going to cover because these are useless. Um, suicide, I have no idea how to use. It has something to do with the player command uh, slash kill. And you can't really make a mob use that. And starvation is also useless because a mob does not starve to death because they don't have a hunger meter. Poison, again self-explanatory. Uh, how much damage is the mob supposed to take from poisoning? Magic is um, potions or other magic stuff, but mostly potions. For instance, if you wanted a mob that is very, very weak to, since we have a zombie here, let's say health potions, then you would give this uh, a high value. The wither effect can also be changed. Um, falling box is not um, sand or gravel, but anvils. Thorns is the thorns enchantment on armor. A lava, that is from touching the lava, not actually the fire tick. Melting is for snowmen only. Uh, snowmen can die if they are in biomes which are too warm for them, but if you were to add a zero here, a snowman would be immune to melting damage, um, or in other words, could never die in warm biomes. Fire tick and fire are two different things. There is damage you can take from touching a fire source. And um, thus being set on fire, you would also take damage from a fire tick. Same applies to the mobs. This is falling damage. Suffocation is damage taken by standing inside of blocks. Projectile damage is damage from arrows. Entity attack is basically just melee damage and contact damage is damage ca uh, taken by cacti. Okay, so the mob is immune to poison damage now and also we make it quite immune to projectile attacks. Um, putting 0.5 here would make it um, so that the mob takes 50% less damage from ranged attacks um, by shooting arrows at it. And also it is quite sturdy against melee attacks only taking 50% of the usual damage as well. But <clears throat> this is giving the mob nothing but advantages. To make your mob interesting, you also want to give it weaknesses, like magic. So let's say this mob is extremely weak against potions, and throwing a potion of health would actually do 400% of the usual damage it would do. Or Well, that is very extreme. Let's make it 300%. Um, that is good as well. There are lots of other options 
basic options like these you can put on a mob. I didn't cover them all because once you grasp the functionality of the plugin, you can pretty much just go on the wiki and look them up for yourself. It's pretty straightforward. Thank you for watching. See you next time.